Okay, this is Tamanin Ave, where it comes out the 322. And that's Atlantic Blueberry Fields across the street. That's not really a dead end. I'm going to take you on a tour. Do not those who plot evil go astray, but those who plan what is good find mm. love and faithfulness. All hard work brings a profit, but mere talk leads only to poverty. The wealth of the wise is their crown, but the folly of fools yields folly. A truthful witness saves lives, but a false witness is deceitful. He who fears the Lord has a secure fortress, and for his children he will be a refuge. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life, turning a man from the snares of death. A large population is a king's glory, but without subjects the prince is ruined. A patient man has great understanding, but a quick-tempered man displays folly. A heart at peace gives life to the body, but envy rots the bones. He who oppresses the poor shows contempt for the weaker, but whoever is kind to the needy honors God. When calamity comes, the wicked are brought down. But even in death, the righteous have a refuge. Wisdom reposes in the heart of the discerning, and even among fools, she lets herself be known. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a disgrace to any people. A king delights a wise servant, but a shameful servant incurs his wrath. Chapter 15. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise commends knowledge, but the mouth of the fool gushes folly. The eyes of the Lord are everywhere, keeping watch on the wicked and the good. The tongue that brings healing is a tree of life, but a deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. A fool spurns his father's discipline, but whoever heeds correction shows prudence. Okay, here we go. The house of the righteous contains great treasure, but the income of the wicked brings them trouble. The lips of the wise spread knowledge, not so the hearts of fools. The Lord tests the sacrifice of the wicked, but the prayer of the upright yields. The Lord detests the way of the wicked, but he loves those who pursue righteousness. Spiritual discipline awaits him who leaves the path. He who hates correction will die. Death is open before the Lord. How much more the heart of men. A mocker resents correction. He will not consult the wise. A happy heart makes the face cheerful, but heartache crushes the spirit. The discerning heart seeks knowledge, but the mouth of a fool feeds on folly. All the days of the oppressed are wretched, but the cheerful heart has a continual feast. Bend a little with the fear of the Lord, and great wealth with turmoil. Bend a meal of vegetables where there is love, but a fat cat with hatred. A hot-tempered man stirs up dissension.
the Lord detests the thoughts of the wicked, but those of the pure are pleasing to him. A greedy man brings trouble to his family, but he who hates bribes will live. The heart of the righteous weighs its answers, but the mouth of the wicked gushes evil. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. A cheerful look brings joy to the heart, and good news gives health to the bones. He who listens to a life-giving rebuke will be at home among the wise. He who ignores discipline despises himself, but whoever heeds correction gains understanding. The fear of the Lord teaches a man wisdom, and humility comes before honor. Chapter 16 to man belong the plans of the heart, but from the Lord comes the reply of the tongue. All a man's ways seem innocent to him, but motives are weighed by the Lord. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. The Lord works out everything for his own ends, even the wicked for a day of disaster. The Lord detests all the proud of heart. Be sure of this, they will not go unpunished. Through love and faithfulness, sin is atoned for. Through the fear of the Lord, a man avoids evil. When a man's ways are pleasing to the Lord, he makes even his enemies live at peace with him. Better a little with righteousness than much gain with injustice. In his heart, a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. The lips of a king speak as an oracle, but his mouth should not betray justice. Honest scales oh, and balances up. are from the Lord. All the weights in the bag are of his making. Kings detest wrongdoing, for a throne is established through righteousness. Kings take pleasure in honest lips. They value a man who speaks the truth. A king's wrath is a messenger of death, but a wise man will appease it. When a king's face brightens, it means life. His favor is like a rain cloud in spring. How much better to get wisdom than gold, to choose understanding rather than silver. The highway of the upright avoids evil. He who guards his way guards his life. Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. Better to be lowly in spirit and among the oppressed with the proud. Whoever gives heed to instruction prospers, and blessed is he who trusts in the Lord. The wise in heart are called discerning, and pleasant words promote instruction. That was easy. Understanding is a fountain of life to those who have it, but folly brings punishment to fools. A wise man's heart guides his mouth, and his lips promote instruction. Pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. There is a way that seems right to a man, but in the end it leads to death. The laborer's appetite works for him. His hunger drives him on. A scoundrel plots evil, and his speech is like a scorching fire. Mm, should I or a should perverse I? Man stirs up I should. And a gossip separates close friends. A violent man entices his neighbor and leads him down a path that is not good. He who winks with his eye is plotting perversity. He who curses his lips is bent on evil. Gray hair is a crown of splendor. It is attained by a righteous life. Better a patient man than a warrior, a man who controls his temper than one who takes a city. The lot is cast into the lap, but its every decision is from the Lord. Chapter 17 Better a dry crust with peace and quiet than a house full of feasting with strife. A wise servant will rule over a disgraceful son and will share the inheritance as one of the brothers. The crucible for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests the heart. A wicked man listens to evil lips. A liar pays attention to a malicious tongue. He 
who mocks the poor shows contempt for their maker. Whoever gloats over disaster will not go unpunished. Children's children are a crown to the aged, and parents are the pride of their children. Arrogant lips are unsuited to a fool. How much worse, lying lips to a ruler. A bribe is a charm to the one who gives it. Wherever he turns, he succeeds. He who covers over an offense promotes love. But whoever repeats the matter separates close friends. A rebuke impresses a man of discernment more than a hundred lashes a fool. An evil man is bent only on rebellion. A merciless official will be sent against him. Better to meet a bear robbed of her cubs than a fool in his folly. If a man pays back evil for good, evil will never leave his house. Starting a quarrel is like breaching a dam, so drop the matter before a dispute breaks out. Acquitting the guilty and convincing the innocent, the Lord detests them both. Of what use is money in the hand of a fool, since he has no desire to get wisdom? A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. A man lacking in judgment strikes hands in pledge and puts up security for his neighbor. He who loves a quarrel loves sin. He who builds a high gate invites destruction.